Japan and the European Union have broadly agreed on a huge free trade deal. It's being seen as a challenge to the protectionist policies practiced by the current administration in the United States. Noah Adam has the details. Global trade has come under threat, especially with President Trump's so-called America First policies and a few other countries taking on economic nationalism. But this broad deal between Japan and the EU seeks to buck such trends and could potentially be the EU's largest FTA, as well as account for more than a quarter of global economic output. EU Trade Commissioner Cecilia Malmström said in a tweet after discussions with Japanese Foreign Minister Humio Kishida on Wednesday that a political agreement was reached and that the leaders of both sides are set to confirm it. Kishida said both sides needed to keep flying the flag of free trade. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and EU Council President Donald Tusk will endorse the pact on Thursday in Brussels, a day before the G20 summit opens in Germany. However, it will still take several months for both sides to sign the deal as all the terms are yet to be finalized. Sources say the deal is good news for European farmers as Japan will open up dairy imports, especially cheese, from Europe over the course of 15 years. This has been one of the main sticking points during nearly four years of talks between the two economies as Tokyo has been fairly protective of its local dairy market. The FDA would also scrap the EU's 10% tariff barrier on Japanese cars over a seven-year period. Overall, 99% of goods traded between Japan and the EU will have tariffs removed, although in some cases it could take years to take effect. Noadam, Arirang News.